Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. Once again, back with another great tutorial. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some slightly kind of advanced After Effects 3D motion tracking as well as creating our own callouts for that motion tracking to incorporate in our footage. Ian, what does that actually mean? Let's demonstrate. As you know, I vape and I like to tell people that I vape because I'm so cool because I vape. So check out this footage of my vape and some juice. It's nothing special, it's kind of shaky handheld, but what I want to do is I want to add some really dope callouts to that to let people know what exactly I'm vaping on. So here's that same shot, check it out. Environmental 3D callouts and After Effects. We're gonna be tracking those objects and we're gonna be applying our own cool motion graphic style to them. This is helpful if you want to tell people about what vape juice you have or if you're doing some sort of like tech video and you have camera gear, you want to call out your lenses, the camera that you're using. Basically, this will work on anything. So if you've got a video that needs callouts, well, <laughs> Today's your lucky day. I'm ready, you're ready. Well, uh, hopefully you're ready. Open up After Effects, because we're getting started. All right, After Effects is open and you've already saved your project. I know that, because that's step number one. Step number two is gonna be getting the footage into After Effects and dropping it onto a timeline. Now, if you guys wanna follow along exactly with what I'm doing today, the link is in the video description below to download this exact clip. Otherwise, drop your own clip in there and follow along as best you can. So once you've got your footage on your timeline, you're gonna come up here to your tracker panel. If you guys don't have this little panel over here on the right-hand side, I recommend going up to Window, Workspace, All Panels, or you can select just the tracker panel from the drop-down. but I like working on all panels, so I have everything over here. So with my footage selected, I'm gonna click on Track Camera in the tracker panel, and it will say Analyzing in Background. Then up here under the 3D camera tracker window, you'll see that After Effects is starting to analyze your footage, and you don't have to do anything until it's done. So now we just sit around and wait. So now we just sit around and vape. All right, and we're done. It says solving camera right here, and once it's done solving, you'll see that it puts a lot of little track points all over your footage. Now, what can we do with these? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is figure out what you're gonna wanna call out in your scene. In this case, we're doing the vape juice and the vape, and I wanna align this target so it lays flat on the object that I wanna track. So right here is good, and if you click, it will select three points automatically. You right click on that and create solid and camera. And what it will do is put a little solid over the target, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the vape juice. We're gonna just come over here and find a place that actually is flat. So right there is looking pretty good. And I'm going to right click and go to create solid since you can't create two cameras. Now, what can we do with these solids? If I scrub through this footage, you'll see that the solids are actually tracked very nicely on our objects. And I didn't even have to do anything other than let After Effects just kind of render through my scene. So for right now, we're gonna leave those solids there and we're gonna come up to composition, new composition. I have mine set at 15 seconds at 1920 by 1080 and we're gonna click okay. We're gonna make those little 3D callouts that you saw in the beginning of the video. Step number one is going to new adjustment layer and we're going to take our pen tool and I'm just gonna draw what I think is a decent little callout box. Maybe something like this. Perfect, we got our little box that's looking pretty decent there. Next step is gonna be come up to effects and presets type in stroke and generate stroke and we're gonna put that right on our adjustment layer. And click on the point where you want the animation to originate from and right click on that point, go to mask and shape path and set first vertex. So you're telling After Effects that this is where you want it to start from. Now what we're gonna do is come up here to our stroke effects. We're gonna turn on the keyframe for end and I'm gonna come over maybe one second and I'm gonna click on my layer, hit U to show my animated parameters. I'm gonna set another keyframe at one second and I'm gonna come back here and set my first keyframe to zero. And if you wanted to from previous lessons, you can highlight these keyframes. You can go to easy ease, then you can click over to the keyframe graph editor and you can kind of smooth these out a little bit. So if I wanted to just kind of ease in at the end there, all right, so now that we've got our animation there, the next step is gonna to be to create the white solid that fills in from the back. So layer, new, solid, white, click OK. I like to turn down the opacity of the layer by hitting T, just so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna create a mask, a square mask up here, just on the inside. And I'm gonna have it fill in kind of once it starts animating this bottom line. Set an opacity keyframe and we'll have it finished by the time it finishes. And we're gonna set our ending opacity to, let's say 40. And we're gonna set our beginning opacity to zero. 
Nice. And since this isn't touching all the way in the corner, maybe we can just kind of move this over a little bit to make sure that it's actually touching the other side. The next thing I'm gonna do is create that little circle thing that generates from down here. Uh, this is something that I added. You don't necessarily have to do this. Again, use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to create your own cool thing, blah, blah, blah. You've heard me say it before. Let's keep going. Layer, new, solid again. Gonna make it white. Boom. Go up here to ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold down shift to create a little circle. Then I'm gonna come down here to mask. I'm gonna hit command or control D to duplicate the mask. Come on to my arrow tool, double click this, hold down shift and shrink the mask just a bit. And then I'm gonna position this kind of in the center of the circle. And I'm gonna set the mask from add to subtract and it will create a little ring. Now, my anchor point is sitting way over here for the circle and I want it to be directly in the center. I can hit Y on the keyboard and just drag this over and you'll see that it kind of snaps into place here. And it's because I have snapping on up here. This is kind of important for this. So now what I'm gonna do is just move this layer down so that the center of the anchor point is over my first vertex of my animation. And I'm gonna to come to the beginning and I'm gonna set a scale keyframe and go over one second as well. Set the scale keyframe there. And I'm gonna set my first scale to zero. So now this little line will originate out. And about halfway through, I'm going to set my opacity keyframe and then turn down the opacity to zero once it reaches the full scale. So we have a nice little circle thing animating out while our other thing is animating in. Cool. Now the last thing to do is just write in what the juice is. So I'm gonna come here, make a new text tool, peach taffy juice, center it up there. Looking good. And we're going to apply a typewriter animation to this text layer. So I'm gonna come up to effects and presets. I'm gonna type in type and drop in the animate in typewriter effect right onto that layer. Hit U on the keyboard and we're just gonna make this text happen in about a second and a half. So just like that. So now, animates in, boom, peach, taffy, juice, excellent. The last step, once we've created this thing, is I'm gonna collapse all my layers. I'm gonna highlight all of my layers and hit Shift Command or Shift Control C for a pre-comp. I'm gonna call this juice, then I'm gonna copy that layer and go back to our original composition where the vape juice is and I'm gonna paste it in. So there it is, it's animating in. And the first thing I'm gonna do is click over into the 3D layer because we have a 3D camera. So this layer has to be 3D in order for it to happen. So it kind of puts it in wherever it's gonna go. That's fine because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the positioning data for this blue solid. So I'm gonna click on the layer, hit P for the position data. I'm gonna click on position, hit copy on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna go up to the juice, hit P, and I'm gonna click paste. And what that's gonna do is paste the positioning data from our solid onto my layer. So now I'm gonna mute this layer. And now I'm just gonna adjust here the scale of this. And I'm just gonna bring this over on the X axis. The one thing you're not gonna to wanna to touch is the Z axis because that's how deep it is in your composition. And that's the most complicated part of the motion tracking, I think, is the depth. The depth is what matters. So what I'm doing right now is just moving my X axis and my Y axis to be in a place that I want that call out to originate from, which is gonna be right on the top right hand corner of this label. So now if I play this, It is tracking beautifully, even with the handheld movements, and it's very environmental, and it is letting all of you know out there exactly what juice I am vaping on. But now we gotta do the vape side. So let's come over into our juice comp, and I'm just gonna copy all of these. Go up to composition, new composition. I'm going to create a new composition, and I'm just gonna paste them back in. And now basically what I wanna do is I wanna swing this whole thing around so that it comes from the vape side. So an easy way to do this would be to grab all of your layers here, click on the 3D mode. With all of them selected, hit R, and then change your Y rotation to negative 180 degrees. And then the only thing left to do is grab our circle and we're just gonna drag that back over here and center it on the bottom. And then we're gonna change peach taffy juice, super dank vape. There you go, same thing. Highlight all the layers. Shift command or shift control C. I'm gonna name this vape. Then I'm gonna copy this into our composition. I'm gonna turn on the 3D layer. And then I'm gonna go to this solid, this pink solid, hit P, grab position, click on vape, hit P, paste position, turn off the pink layer. And now I'm just gonna adjust my scale and my X and Y axis, making sure not to touch the Z axis. And I'm gonna put that right in the center there. I don't want both of them to animate in at the exact same time, so I'm gonna offset the juice by a little bit so the vape comes in first. And now look at, ladies and gentlemen, what we have created today. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. Now you all know what kind of vape juice I vape on and that my vape is super dank.
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. We created really nice environmental 3D callouts into our scene to let people know what vape I have and how dank it is and my juice. If you guys haven't used the 3D camera tracker in After Effects before, hopefully today was eye-opening for you, huh? Get it? Because I never opened my eyes. Again, if you want to download this clip, it's in the video description below. Download it, go back through this video, create your call out, send it to your friends. They'll be like, you vape? And you'll be like, yeah, dude, super dank vape, bro. Be like, I got that peach taffy juice. It's delicious. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, we hit 25K subs. Holy moly. That's huge. I'm super excited. I know you guys are excited. We're learning a lot. We're doing a lot of cool things in After Effects and Premiere and Photoshop and DaVinci. It's exciting, exciting times. So thank you everybody for subscribing. It really means a lot. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also check out the last video that you missed. I do this every time and I usually have something that I want to do at the end that's like funny or cool, but I've like completely run out of ideas. So now I'm just here to tell you to hit that subscribe button and watch the last video that you missed and I'll see you next time.